What's up? What are some good things to practice for someone trying out for snare high school marching band techniques? Practicing how to use the right techniques for the right scenarios, for the right rudiments. That's, that's my philosophy. said do you remember when I said oh yeah earlier <laughs> I said your device was lacking lagging no I checked I was like what part is he talking about that's out of sync I was trying to look where it was I still don't know but I mean the I mean the audio the audio itself I mean the audio itself is a overdub I think most people would know that because if you try to film at the certain locations, you won't get the same sound or audio. It's gonna sound like if there's a train in the background, it's gonna, it's gonna drown out the sound in the microphone. So, but I made I made sure the parts were like in sync with what I'm playing. And it's not like I can't it's not like I can't play the parts if I did like a live show or something. I could. The recording is still my real playing. It's just like, I mean, it's just like a, a vocalist. They, they're in a studio, they record their audio, their vocal audios, but in their live performances, it's, it's gonna be a little different. I mean, some people, a lot of artists can't can't sing, but they sound so great on a, in a studio, for example, or some can sing in the studio. They sound like how they sound outside of it. So it's the same thing with the snare drumming. Uh, so if there's any out of sync parts, then I would know because I, I, I go into great detail with editing, editing the footage, editing the, the working on it, making sure the sound quality is good, everything. So that was like, what is, what, what part is it? Three, what? You said at like three minutes. I checked that too. I'm like, what is he talking about? Maybe his device is lagging. Cause some my old my old device used to lag. Like if it's a if it's a 4K video, it wouldn't it it wouldn't it wouldn't even it couldn't even play the it couldn't even play the video. I have to go back to like 1080. <laughs> so uh, let's see, dudes acting all silly till Malik whips out the 500 BPM eight notes. <laughs> Actually, the let's see. Actually, I did 600 B BPM 16th notes, the quad strokes. Those eight notes you're talking about, it was the triple strokes, right? Which is still faster than regular what regular eight notes would be. <laughs> Man. 
And what are you guys? What are you guys into today? It's six. Let's see. Six likes. Six likes. Come on, man. See, that's that's why the channel. That's why the channel's struggling to grow. It's not struggling to grow. It's just I haven't put I haven't put a lot of time into like long form content over the last four years or so because you know I didn't. I don't know. Why I pretty much burned out. And I was tired of it. It's like you make you put so much time and effort into a video, and then it gets like two, three hundred views, <laughs> with, with over a hundred thousand subscribers. I'm like, what, what, where, where's the connect? Like, what's, what's the connection I'm missing here? And uh, but it's not just YouTube. Like all the platforms do the same thing. So, I mean, at this point nowadays. I kind of throw I kind of throw out the the subscriber count kind of doesn't matter. I mean, they give you this nice little silver plaque and then a gold one if you get a million. But like if your content isn't resonating with the audience or if it's not relevant enough with the audience, then it'll never get views regardless. So but I I think I know what kind of content I'm going to like really post on this platform, so Uh, yeah, cause I, I feel like, I feel like I got some pretty good teaching chops, but it's not going to be like, in today's video, we're going to play the eight, the eight on the hand. No, you know, I'm going to be, I'm going to be real. Like if, uh, you know, I'm going to be like them drill sergeants from back in the day, maybe not screaming and hollering in the, in the, in the microphone, for example. When we do these chop challenges, like I'm getting ready, to, I'm getting ready to post chop challenge videos. Well, not not really chop challenge videos. I mean, I guess you can call them that. They're gonna be more like chop workout videos, endurance workouts, and they're gonna be like thirty to forty five minutes long, maybe one hour. Those type of it. That's another thing with YouTube. You gotta post. You can't post. You can't post a five minute video and expect to get away with it, especially if your name is not like relevant enough. I think only like one percent of YouTubers can get away with that, but otherwise you gotta post like you gotta post twenty, thirty, forty minute videos just just to even see anything. Especially if again if you're not if your name is not relevant enough, because the game the game is watch time and average duration on this platform. So if that's not going, then like <laughs> so. That's not if if the watch time ain't happening, then none of the videos gonna pop off. So, but uh, I mean the video, the, the last couple videos I did actually did pretty. I mean they 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 got the best watch time that I've seen on this channel over the last the last ten years I've had this channel, about to be ten years or already ten years. So, bro, A D C D E F gotta go. How do you? I don't know why you guys subscribe just to like leave dumb comments in the chat like you want attention. So stupid. <laughs> like right now I've never had well, uh, you know what? I think YouTube changed the algorithm. Cuz now I don't know if you some of you've seen seeing this live stream in the uh in the in the, the YouTube Shorts uh whatever that uh timeline whatever you call it. <laughs> but if you guys are seeing it, what's up? But uh, let's let's get them likes up though. Seventy, we got eleven likes, sixty nine people in the stream. That means there are fifty eight uh, NPCs in here. That's right, we're going back. NPCs, are you an NPC or not? <laughs> Remo or Evans, Evans? No, not Ev Remo Evans. No, Remo. I don't like Evans that much. I'm not a I'm not a fan of their Kevlar heads popular i mean i know they're popular because they you know it's trendy but i like remo have you ever created your own rudiments i've actually created quite a few and i'm still creating them it kind of drives me nuts actually because you can i mean the way the way i do rudiments i don't just do them by like i don't know i don't uh there's a bunch of elements that i feel like are in, that makes a rudiment that could make a rudiment. So there's a, I have a whole, I, I think I have like over, I have over 500 in my, uh, 
in my vault. But I got 300 listed in the School of Super Drumming right now. That includes the, the 40 essential rudiments, 13 rudiments, whatever. I, I think there's seven foundational rudiments, but then after that, uh, let's see. No, he's right. Like the video. <laughs> no, I'm going to let him get away with that because he's, he's right. Like it. Uh, let me see. I don't mean to, I don't mean to ramble on. If I'm missing your questions, just ask again. I don't mean to miss you. He said, I look, I feel, I low key feel bad for him. All the hate he gets and only wishes to show his talent. I don't feel bad for me, man. I'm all right. I made it, I made it this long. I'm, I've made it this far. I've been, I've been in the game for, honestly, I've been in here. Let's see, SDJ Malik debuted 10 years ago, but I've been in here since like 2006. My very first comment on YouTube was literally K Y. You can guess it yourself, KYS. <laughs> it said, you suck, KYS. Or the, the actual phrase, I'm not going to say it, but. And I was like, wow, damn. <laughs> what did I do? And then, you know, it's been just always, it started off like 70, 30 hate. And then it got to 50, 50. And then now it's like, now it's like 30. Maybe I'll say, I'll save in 40, 40, 60. Um, but, uh, let's see. I'm trying to read the comments. You are the biggest reason why I started. That's awesome, man. And don't ever, don't quit. Even if somebody tries to intimidate you or, or, or something, or bully you into something else. Always keep playing. But yeah, let, let me know what you guys, in the comments, let me know what you guys think. Like, I'm thinking, no, I'm going to do it. Uh... If you guys would be interested in me doing 30, just like just like those exercise aerobic workout videos, I'm gonna do the same thing, but with like drumming. I feel like it's a I feel like it's a niche on YouTube that could be fulfilled. So you say, what's your favorite drum pad? Any kind at all? Mine's just a Carlos Vitello signature pad. That's cool. Congrats to him for the signature pad. But uh, I like the Vader pad. It's good rebound, especially if you're a marching snare drummer. Got another side if you want a harder. It's a little loud, but I like this because it ain't so loud. It's uh, and it's soft, and it gives you the rebound. And I think I think it works with any pair of sticks. The rebound may feel a little different if you're like using flimsy sticks like five A's or seven B's. Like these are marching sticks, so you can feel the weight of them. Which is kind of, to me, it's kind of an advantage. Let's see. Name a car for an edit. Ooh. Give me the Porsche. Give me the Porsche 911. <laughs> it's always been one of my, I don't know. It's always been one of my dream cars. Someday. Uh, let's see. What would you recommend to practice as a beginner going forward? Techniques. Uh, techniques exercises that involve around techniques rudiments that involve around techniques uh i would start with mastering the finger control technique which is which is a technique that's best for a single stroke roll for that rudiment if you're trying to sustain a roll like that isolate each hand to really master getting the technique down getting your fingers involved if you play and then and then after that, while you're working on that, same if you're using traditional, while you're working on that, you can work on your accents or full strokes, I should say. Work on the full strokes first. Which is gonna you open your hand. Once you got the technique down, you got your fulcrum point down. The next step is to work on full strokes, in my opinion. Opening up them hands. Your wrist is gonna your wrist is gonna move around, but it's okay because your hands are opening up, right? You don't want to ball your hand in the fist and do this. This will tear you apart. This will keep you safe and rely on the rebound. Even if you don't have no rebound, you can use the shake method. I made a whole video on it. So, uh, finger control technique, or the, I don't, I don't know if you can find it in search. Find SDJ Malik hand hand speed. It might pop up. It's it's rather it's a new video still. It's about a couple months old. 
Uh, have you ever played sports? Football, basketball, soccer, baseball. I played every, almost every sport. I think of. I had to, I had to stop playing football because I uh, dislocated my shoulder. I was done after that. <laughs> I have shoulder problems ever since. Have you marched? No. As a music producer, do you want to learn how to make a good? Oh, I do want to learn how to make a good beat as a music producer. I don't know. You gotta. When it comes to music production, there's no, I don't know. To me, there's no such thing as, like, perfect. It's, it's like, it's totally subjective. So, just make a beat, and then as time goes along, you make your improvements here and there. You learn new things and work with that. What about a Porsche Taycan? Sure. Whatever car you feel like work you can edit <laughs> what do you like better about remo it's soft it feels softer on the hands the sound quality is, is is a little more better in my opinion it doesn't have that ugly ring to it especially if you like especially if you use a pearl marching snare uh because i i use i use the evan heads both sides and they with when I, when I used to use my black snare drum my marching snare it used to have an ugly ring tone to it and people would say oh that's normal i'm like no it's not it's ugly and i put tape on it tissue whatever and it wouldn't it wouldn't suppress the sound so i switched back to a remo head i use a phallum 2 yeah the overtones there the, the evans overtones are absolutely goodness god awful so i switched back to remo and the, the overtone is gone <laughs> you got the phallum 2 on the bottom Matter of fact, you don't even I don't even think you need to file them too on the bottom. You could use a you could use like a mylar head on the bottom too. You still won't have that sound. Actually, the mylar head sounds probably even louder. But um, you know, I, I would use a Remo Black Max, White Max, or the Suede Max. Those are all softer heads. In my opinion. I don't I don't like the file them twos. Because those are anything I mean, those those heads are really tough on the hands. I don't like any heads that are really tough on the hands. And I know people are going to say, oh, you're not tough enough. No, I don't want no, I don't want any hand injuries. I've been playing for, let's see, um, almost 30 years. I've been playing almost 30 years. I'll be, this is year 29. I don't have no injuries. So, so one more thing, you inspire me so much. I really want to prove myself and get better because there's so many haters on yeah, that's the welcome to the percussion world, man. There's so many. I, I say percussion, especially drum kit and marching snare. I say even multi tuners at this point. Like those percussion instrumentalists, the biggest egotistic. I don't know how to control their egos. Ego is not a bad thing. Not knowing how to control it is the bad part. Um, Especially them second, third year players, even the four year players, like the guys that say, Oh, I've marched center snare for three years. Congratulations. So? <laughs> Who cares? So I have the right to tell you that you're holding your stick wrong. Bro, everybody wants to criticize everybody, but then when it comes to like battling or anything, that's that's why there's drum that's why there's that's why drumline battles and snare drum battles even drum kit battles exist. Uh, if you disagree with somebody, battle. Stop trying to tell expert, like experts, expert percussionists. They don't tell other, they don't go around commenting on other people's videos saying this is wrong, or you're holding your stick. They don't they don't leave unsolicited criticism even if they don't like the video. Or whatever, because I, I know I don't like a lot of Trump videos out there, but I have my own opinions. I don't I don't go around telling people what they what they should do and shouldn't do. Now as a now as a, like an instructor, like a drum coach, when people come to me and they pay me to to, to coach them on their drumming, then then it's solicited. Then I can tell them, hey, fix this technique, change that. Maybe you change this, or you know, that's when I tell them. But I'm not gonna go around. And comment on their video and say they suck and change their technique. Like, who the hell are you? <laughs> who the who the who the hell are you to tell people what they what they can and can't do, what they should and shouldn't do? It's not us. So, 
We got 111 people and 25 likes. What y'all? Come on, man. Give me a like. That means you know what that means. Like the video if you're not an NPC. 111 people is on this thing. That's a record on for this channel, by the way. He said, now I am just introduced to your channel. So hopefully you do this in your videos. I, I do live streams from, from here and there. But I, I'm going to really focus on, on the long form content more this year. Because I don't know, the, over the last few years I've been doing short form content. It's mainly because I've been burned out from, from making, like, video productions. Speaking of which, now that everybody's here, if you guys, I don't know, most of you probably haven't even seen the video yet. I'm sure you have. It only, it only got, it got 900 views, almost 1,000 views so far. Um, almost 1,000 views, my supervillain arc. Just search my supervillain arc, SDJ Malik. Or just click on, click on the, the profile picture or whatever's on your screen. Click it, go watch it. It's my latest production. It's a it's a two part, it's a little two snare drum performance video, a duology duology, whatever you want to call it. Two part little series, my supervillain arc. Uh, originally produced soundtracks, originally written snare drum solos or per percussion parts. Mono, there's a whole monologue in there. Uh, the location, the sceneries, like, it's a full-blown production, I put it all together, filmed it myself, all of that, spent months working on it, actually a year, I've been working on it for a year, so, uh, if you want to go check it out, go check it out, I would appreciate that, and, you know, leave a, leave a comment on the video, let me know what you guys think of it, but yeah, uh, I plan on, I, I'm planning on doing, like, like chop exercise video, like workout videos. It's gonna be, they're gonna be about. Hopefully, um, hopefully they, time wise, it's about thirty minutes, or so. Thirty minutes, forty five minute workout videos. It's gonna be where it's at. I'm bringing back the stick trick combination videos. All all the videos are gonna be longer, basically. So you got the shorts content. I'm gonna still be making those, but I'm gonna also be making these 25, 30 minute videos. If you guys got any video idea concepts you want me to explore as well you can let me know we got 33 likes and 135 that's crazy that 100 of you are npcs you, you guys are fake viewers fake views dang <laughs> i didn't i promise i didn't buy any views on here i don't know youtube changed its algorithm so you can see the live stream through like the shorts the shorts feed just like on tiktok so that's probably what's going on but you got to be a subscriber to leave a comment. Don't don't subscribe just to leave some dumb comments. You're just going to get blocked. And you're going to look stupid. So He said the location is okay. So you saw it. Where the hell were you? I was in I was in far north Japan, like the furthest point of Japan. The coldest parts of Japan. Uh When I was filming those videos, it was it was between it was between 5 to 20 degrees Fahrenheit. No, during the daytime, it was about 20 degrees. But those, let's see. The other, the the super villain video, it was about 20 degrees. It was, it was warmer in that video. But the volcano one, I could only be out there for like 20 minutes trying to film some shots. And I had to run, I had to run closer to the volcano and still get my shots. And then film the second scene of scenery of it. It was ridiculously cold. He said, wow, 245 subs and only 150 watching fake subs, man. I know. I think they're fake, too, uh, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, as I was saying earlier, like, subscribers don't matter. Like, you can subscribe and still not see the content because there's you probably subscribe to, like, a thousand other channels. So, subscribers are pretty irrelevant. And this is, it could go the other way. You could have 100, you could have 50,000 subscribers and get, like, Two, three hundred thousand views of videos. So I mean, <laughs> but uh, that, I mean, that's just the, that's just how the game. That's the game, bro. So don't if you ever do social media, don't focus on followers and subscribers. Focus on focus on getting like, uh, because I made the mistake. I thought subscribers meant you're gonna get more views, but apparently not. It's kind of like. It's kind of like step one to gaining a true viewership. Step step one is somebody watching the video. Step two, 
did subscribe and then step three is keeping them engaged and i think i i pretty i did a pretty bad job of keeping people engaged so hopefully these high hopefully i do more of these live streams and more of these videos to keep you guys uh engaged with it what is your address why would i tell you that <laughs> especially on the internet man people are crazy uh who's your favorite drummer i don't have one <laughs> I know I sound like a hater, but truly I don't. I, there's a whole there's a whole multitude of great drummers out there, percussionists. But there's not like one single drummer I'm fixated on watching. Uh, what's your stance on peanut butter? Absolutely amazing. Have you ever tried a peanut butter milkshake? It's the best shake ever. Throw some sprinkles on top of that thing, man. It's game over. Game over. You can't go wrong with it. Uh, let's see. You're the reason that you. You are the reason you love drumming. I'm the reason I love drum. Or you meant you love drumming. He said, "I don't. I don't like the high school snare drummer. One is cool. One is kind, and one is me. that's always the case. <laughs> there's always when you're on the drum line. There's there's always gonna be there's always gonna be that one guy that like tries to test everyone, and they think they're like hot shit. <laughs> that's always the case. You just gotta you just gotta you gotta mentally block that out." It's part of the game. Matter of fact, you individually you practice, and then one day you can come back, show up on him, and like chop his ass up. <laughs> That's what I would do. If he was better than me, I let him be better than me. But I would practice, and then when I feel ready, I'm gonna challenge challenge his ass. So, uh, hello, how how are you? I have a tree grow and a shut up, bro. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, <laughs> uh, you guys are crazy. Let's see. Can you play something for us? Sure. Let's do an exercise. Here we go. 100 beats per minute. You guys got a drum pad? You can play. You can you can drum with me. We're going to do 16 notes. And it's going to last for 32 counts. So each count, each click is one count. Two, three, four, all the way to 32, 16 notes. Here we go. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 13. So I'm using the finger control technique. Yeah, these comments are wild. <laughs> hey, that's cool. It's whatever. They're engaging, so just don't say anything crazy or too crazy. Losing levers on that left hand. I gotta warm up more. Are y'all? How many people in the chat are drummers? <laughs> are y'all even drummers? Are y'all just like trolls? That's funny. Can you play SVCV 2018? I don't know. Physically, maybe. I don't know what the music is, though. I don't really care. That was a nice little warm up. My muscles loosened up a little bit more. I'm gonna be on here for a little bit longer and I'm gonna cut out. Um, do you have a favorite snare break? Not really. I don't know. I don't be paying it. I don't really pay much or too much attention to DCI. Like I do, but I don't. I used to watch, I mean, back, to, back then, like 10 years ago, I used to watch all every video that was drumline related. It didn't matter if it was DCI, international other groups outside of the United States, HBCU drum lines. I was watching them, but maybe I burned myself out from it. <laughs> so, I mean, here and, here and there I'll watch it, but There we go. 
now, now, now I think the, the, the real viewers are here. I don't know, when it was at like 150, that was weird. <laughs> what's the best thing, what's the best trick to go impress on? Probably fatality. This stick, that stick trick's almost 10 years old now. First time I performed it was a live performance. So, what is your drum kit? I don't play drum kit. Favorite drum cadence? I don't know. There's so many out there. Probably funky shit from uh, Prairie View still. I still forgot that. I forgot some of the parts of that cadence. I still remember some parts, but I forgot some parts. Oh, it's this one. I thought it was that way. How's life been? Can't complain, can't complain. What is do flam do flamis right quick? Uh your favorite, one of your favorite licks, huh? I think that was the first time I played that in like 10 years almost. <laughs> your life is sad. I don't know. I guess it takes, I guess you're an expert in my life, I guess. My life is sad. <laughs> what a weird thing to tell someone. It's funny. Y'all don't, y'all don't say, y'all wouldn't say none of this stuff in person. It's like you guys use the, it's like the internet is the most cowardice place for cowards to just run a wild, run wild. Uh, snare drumming more popular in Japan than America? I, I don't know. I know it's, I know it's pretty like marching band and drum lines is very popular here. I do know that. Are you sponsored by any marching snare company? Not really. <laughs> At the moment, no, not really. Do Flemish? Oh, I already saw that. Fake is slow down. <laughs> Since you went to PV, what do you think of TSU Funk Train? I think they're pretty good. I mean, the rival rivalry rides. You say, oh, they suck and all of that, but I'm. I mean, outside of that, <laughs> it's just trash talk. They're pretty good. Uh, they've been they've been pretty good over the last few years now. Some of the drumline videos I've seen. I just wish they had more. I just wish they would have more exposure. Um because the prairie the prairie view and TSU rivalry is pretty pretty good. It should be it should be more mainstream in the drumline world, but let's see. Since uh where can I learn how to play, how to do, how to do snare, marching band, cadence, and rudiments? The school of super drumming. Maybe I mean cadences. I don't know. Maybe there's another website, but rudiments and stick tricks and all of that. School of super drumming. 
Blue Devils Diddy. I don't oh, shoot. I only remember a few parts of that. I don't ever practice that one. Uh, you did that video. Must have been about 220 BPM. Singles to doubles. Oh, hold on, hold on. To pair diddles the flam. I was going to try to match that and sync the videos. The flam were too much, though. <laughs> it's an endurance, man. It's endurance. Yeah, the, uh, I pushed it to 220. It made the single strokes. And let's see. It made everything it made everything 16th notes at 220. Hold on, let's see. I'm talking about this one. I think I held it for 16 counts each. That one's tough if you're not warmed up, but yeah. If I did it, if I do it again, I could, I could get that down. <laughs> Can you play something from a movie drama? I know, oh my God. That the Japanese bands are kind of crazy. Yeah, some of them are crazy. Some of them, a lot of the bands you see are are outliers, though. But I did see it. I mean, there's there there's a local elementary school here, like around Osaka. That's or just outside of Osaka. They're they're an elementary school, and they can <laughs> they're all like <clears throat> throwing up X's. I'm like, who the heck is who is teaching them? In, in elementary school, chopping like that. HBC or PWI bands, they, they both serve different purposes. I think if they all battled each other, though, it would make the drumline community, like, way, way stronger. And I, I don't know. It would it'd be... They, sh they should both get some shine, in my opinion. But they all, they all serve different purposes, I think. And... PW, PWI is mostly, they're just there for fun. Not like, not like any, like HBCU drumline. <laughs> they're also there for fun, but we dare, we dare to battle other, other schools. So I think if that battle culture came back, then the drumline world would be that more, much more lit. Now we got 117 people back in the stream. 44 likes. Give this, give this, let's get this stream to 50 at least. It's a whole bunch of y'all NPCs. Oh, God. And the comment, the crazy comments are about to, to start showing up again, huh? Oh, boy. I'm about to get off anyway soon, so. It's cool. He said uh, facial expressions are perfect for the, for the movie. I mean, that's what they look like. Their hands were like this. But they would only show the hands doing all of this, but then their faces are like. But their hands are. And then sometimes the sound don't even match the. <laughs> don't even match the, uh, what they're playing. I'm like, is this fake or is this real? <laughs> it was real. The playing, the playing is real, but the, I mean, Nick Cannon, Nick Cannon and the other actors and actresses, that's what they are, so. Have you battled some? I've battled quite a bit over the years. Um, hey, my villain, my villain arc video is legit. I appreciate that. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Glad. Thanks for watching my latest project. Collab with EMC, bro. I did already like a few times. Stop telling me to collaborate with everybody tell them to collaborate with me <laughs> i'm not going to any i'm not going to people anymore they gotta they gotta come they gotta come my direction from now on so <laughs> Gr 
groove, baby groove. <laughs> yeah, I just groove, baby groove. It's me just talking shit, cause everybody always talking about my my uh, my drumming techniques and how I need to play, mo use more wrists and use techniques that's gonna injure yourself. So I'm like, well, all y'all care about is using techniques and then just groove, baby groove. Oh yeah, and then they would say on a on a marching stair. Cool, now play a groove. I'm like, bro, I'm a rudimental drummer. Play a drum kit. Do trombone players tell horn players, trumpet players to play a trumpet or vice versa? Like, <laughs> Pearl, Dynasty or Pearl. Although I've, I've used Dynasty in high school and I used Dynasty at a Prairie View in Texas, in Texas but I don't know. I'm not a, not a huge, never a huge fan of Dynasty. It's just main, mainly because the sound never projected all that well. My opinion, like the, I don't know, the shells didn't project the sound all that great to me. Especially on a drum line. Yamaha or Tama? I might have to go with Tama. I know, I know Yamaha has been around forever, but I've never been much of a fan of Yamaha like that. You and Sack? Nah, I'm from Sack though. How do you do traditional grip? Uh, well, I got two traditional grip videos in the top search, so on YouTube, it's like in the top three or five searched videos. So search that and you're good. So we got 49 likes, 171 people. That's that's just wonderful. The algorithm has definitely changed. Let's see. I'm a Dynasty lover for real, but the DFZ drums, I really like, though. They sound great at my school. In my oh, That's cool. That's what's up. Wow, these comments are... Some of these comments are wild. <laughs> All right. Do you play Fortnite? Oh, man, I, I know what age group this is. <laughs> Got somebody asking, are you single? Are you I'm like, God dang. <laughs> you are from Sacramento. Yep, I'm from Sacramento. You know you have the chops. You were the first to show me a whole new way of snare drumming. I'm an old school drummer from pre-DCI till 79. Hey, that's what's up, man. That's cool, man. That's awesome. Man, I'm glad to uh, glad to be the one uh, to show a different a different way a different approach. Ew. I don't know any JSU cadences, bro. <laughs> I never went to JSU, so I can't. And I'm not gonna play jig too either. That's the most. Annoying cadence known to man. Uh, can you do the hardest rhythm you can play? I don't, I don't know. That's, uh, I don't know. That's a tough one. SCV or crown? Well, seeing that SCV is almost damn near folded. <laughs> no, I used, to, I, used to, I used to love watching SCV. Especially like 10 years ago back then. Dude, what is what is happening? What is going on with DCI? Like, is it is it gonna like just totally collapse soon or what? What's happening? Every year it's like a big corpse seems to be going through a financial issue. So somebody asked me if I'd march DCI or why I didn't march it. It's because it's expensive. And I wanted to I didn't I wanted to keep my I'm an introvert, so so I wanted I wanted to keep summers to myself. <laughs> I didn't want to. I didn't want to leave school like after be done with school that I hated going to, and then not be home, chilling, relaxing, getting my mind right for the next three months, and possibly being around some people I, I'm gonna fight. <laughs> so it was good for me not to do it back then. And then you know, I, by the time I was 18. 18, 19-ish, I had the thought of it, and then I tried out for the, 
Let's see. I I went to the audition with Sac State Drumline. A lot of them did the mandarins, and they, well, let's just say they were treating me like, like I was some dirt. So, <laughs> so I'm like, dang, is this what is this the attitude of like DCI percussionists and drummers? I don't want to be around that. So that's why I didn't do it. Would I? Did I? Do I regret it? No, absolutely not. And it's, like I said, it's it's it was expensive back then, and now it's even more expensive. Somebody said, "Do somebody said less than twenty five? <laughs> somebody was lazy with naming that. It's literally, it's literally a regular bass version of a Rattamacue. And depending on how you want to interpret it, if you want to interpret it as a rough. Or just sort of like a regular drag. It's, it's down there the same thing, just the rhythm slightly tweaked. So let's see. You said a Swiss Army triplet. Let's see. A drag paradiddle number one. Depends on how you want to interpret it, interpret it that as a rough or a regular drag. I think in Europe, that's how they play it. Or drag paradiddle number two. Drag a diddle. Or flame paradiddle. What else y'all got? What else is in the 40 essentials? Ooh, I gotta go soon. I gotta do a drum lesson, so uh, it was fun hanging out with you guys. Thanks for the 51 likes, 126 people on the stream. Maybe I'll be back on here. Maybe I'll be back on here next week or next month. I don't know. Tomorrow. Cheesy poos. They would throw a cheese in there and then a drag, all of that. That used to be one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite licks. Drum battle, drum roll, polyrhythm. Are y'all drummers in here or what? <laughs> uh, yeah, if you want to, uh, support the channel, go watch my super villain arc on the channel right now. And, uh, otherwise I'll, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for uh, joining the live stream. Peace.